Hey there, the Nexus is live from CES, and this is a Nexus special. This is episode 15, CES 2013, and we're here to bring you more processors, 4K, and form factors than ever before. I am your host, Ryan Rampersad, live on the floor with Ian Buck. Let's get started. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. How about you? Pretty good. That's good. Yeah. You know what we're here for? I think we're here at CES, yeah. on the floor, live. In the studio. In the studio. Yeah. Darn. So disappointing. I know. You know, it, we looked up how much it would cost. We did. Yeah. How uh, much? Uh, it, by, by Matt's track, it would cost $1,000 here and back to drive there. Oh, Lord. Um, to fly there, it would cost uh, $450 per plane ticket. So that's not terrible, but still not good. Yeah. Uh, that's, that is round trip, too. So, I mean, you know. Fine. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, to to get in, so as long as we take less than four people, we're fine. In for you know, it, it will cost less to go on plane. Yeah, good. Um, and then um, if um, we somehow manage to con our way into getting press badges at this point, walk in would cost two hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, of course, we'd have to stay somewhere and eat something, so that'd probably be you know good two hundred. Some. Uh, you know. I mean, Las Vegas has plenty of sidewalks, right? We can just kind of stay out there, right? I think we would get. Um, arrested. <laughs> yeah. I hear that being arrested in Las Vegas isn't, you know, a big hey, well, deal Well, that's anyway. a good way to, good place to stay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Because it's only 50 degrees there, so it's, it's nice and warm. Oh, it's pretty nice, actually. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's, like, you know, it's raining right it's now. It's a lot better than... Oh, God. Don't even talk to me about the weather. Rain, wet, all uh, over, drizzle, cold. Google. Google. What's the weather like outside? That sounds really shitty. <laughs> Yeah. You can say that word, you know. No. You, you, Nexus, you can you can swear at me. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> Tune into the fringe for more. Oh man. So yeah, we're here for uh, CES. We thought we should do some uh, dedicated coverage, and by dedicated, I mean stolen from everywhere, but ev- specifically the verge. The verge, <laughs> pretty much. The I, verge. I think you managed to find one thing from Engadget or something. Yeah, and the next web, and that's about it. Otherwise, it's The Verge. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they're, they're, they actually did a great job. Uh, I was watching Twitter earlier this week, and most of the CES news that um, was on Twitter was also from The Verge. I think Verge had a significantly strong presence this year. They did have that big blue... The big thing? Thing. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's like their... It's like a trailer, yeah, but it's like... A, a double bigger. trailer? I don't know. Because it was like a V. Was it? I think so. That's clever. Yeah. It's like a, you know, the, 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 the yeah. Can you imagine our trailer? We'd have to have a big N. <laughs> and it would look like that terrible, terrible, like, logo that you tried to make the, at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Let's not do that. I love it how even back then you were, like, sharing all of the possible logos with me, even though I had nothing to do with the podcast network at care. all. It's, it's I'll great. share with whoever listens. That's good. Yeah. That's dedication for you. Yeah, definitely. Well, who's dedicated here, though? You or me? I uh, well, you got most of these articles, so I'd say you in this case. Okay, let me go look at that stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's it says it right there. I know. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Did I do that? I think I did that. Okay, because I didn't have any stuff there yet, so uh, I was like, "This is where the stuff goes." That's funny. Yep. Cause I feel like I did that too. <laughs> I don't know. So, do you want to pick a topic, or do you just want to go in order? Well, uh, the one thing that I've noticed uh, being talked about a lot from the CES news is 4K television. Really? Yes. You think 4K is popular these days? Well, not popular, but it's upcoming because it's at CES. Hmm. So it will be popular. Yes. Huh. Kind of like 3D is popular now. Is it? No. Huh. But I have it. So? And it's great. Okay. It is. Is it? Everybody should... I, I would highly recommend, if you if you are serious about gaming, get some sort of 3D thing. display device thing. Um, whether it's a TV if you're a console gamer or a monitor if you are a PC gamer and, uh, game in 3D and it's, it's great. So much does that cost on average? Well, my 27 inch monitor costs $500. So where does that sound like it's cheap? It doesn't. Oh, darn. But it's, it doesn't have to be cheap if you know, it's premium. I mean, 27 inch is pretty good though. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's almost too much screen for my desk to handle. Oh, I, I have the same problem. I would, I would have gotten a 27 inch here, but I don't have room. No. I hear you have a problem with my monitor. It's the little one. Yeah. Yeah, it's little. And it's a bad aspect ratio. It doesn't make sense. No, actually, I like it for uh, Audacity. It's nice. It doesn't. But you have Audacity over there on that 16 by 9. Did I say Audacity? I mean VLC. I get them confused. Uh-huh. 
Well, I mean, they're basically But different. VLC is playing things that are theoretically in 16 by 9. No, no, no. See, when I listen to podcasts, the album art is square. Oh, you listen to podcasts in VLC. I thought you did that on your phone. No, no, no. On my own podcast, only on VLC because it's not oh, tracked. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh-huh. so so it's a very specific use case. Yes, right, and this has to do with 3D because nothing. Okay. Also, we were talking about 4K. <laughs> it's I amazing. Think. Yes, that is true. So 4K televisions. Yeah. What about them? there were there were a plethora of the, of, of the televisions specifically being shown at CES. Um, some of them were curved. Some of them were on easels. Some of them were really really big. Some of them had integrated Android in them. Really? Yeah. Is that a Nexus TV? No, it's just a regular TV, actually. Uh, let me let me uh, find out who. Because let's see, if I remember correctly, Samsung did some of the curved ones. Um, who who had the easel one? Was that Samsung as well? Yeah, Samsung had the the big one that was like well, it somebody was floating. Did. It was it. floating. Yeah, Samsung has the floating one, but it's not really floating because it totally has a huge, ridiculously annoying thing like frame. It's a frame. It's a frame. Yeah. Um, that's probably pretty and much it. And it's like, it's like angled away from, yeah, and, and off it, of the and, plane. And it's not just like a frame, cause it, it, it has three parts. So it's the, the, the part around the TV, the TV, and then. Like a back, the like. The back part to prop it up. So it's almost like, it is like an easel. It's kind of like an iPad 4 cover. Okay. The, the, you know, that it, it has to like tip back on itself in order to like, you know, stand in an angle. Nope. No, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So yeah, that was that's a big thing. Um, Netflix and Samsung again were demoing streaming 4K content yeah, to, to a TV, which was uh, I mean impressive. That's obviously eventually going to be the norm. Have you ever seen the 4K stuff they have on YouTube? They actually have that. Yeah, they have a few. They have like maybe twenty, twenty videos. Oh, great. Well, I'm glad that they actually have it. Yeah. And and so I, I bet you can imagine how long it takes to buffer. If you're on Morris, you'll be fine. Well, you have YouTube and Morris, too. And um, we do. And um, it works great. Well, I, I tried it a few times. Now, the videos they put up, though, just don't look that good in general because they're just crappy videos. But it is in 4K. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know. That's really funny. Yeah. It's like some person with their grandpa playing out in the garden or something. Okay. I don't know. Are they playing in their backyard with their Nexus 7? No, it was way before the Nexus 7. The or playground two. is open. Uh, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Me neither. <gasps> like, does that mean come in and play? Like, I don't know. Well, that just sounds creepy. I know. Like, that's what, <laughs> that's, like, what does it mean? Let's see. Playground, playground. That's where you do drug, drug deals. So the, the playground is open means... Yeah, okay. <laughs> what happened to this show? I don't know. <laughs> At least we haven't made it sexual yet. There you go. You started. Uh, no, you said it. I you didn't... asked me. You asked me about the show, and so I have to bring it up. Okay. Yep. Well, anyway, you know, not only were TVs introducing 4K, but other things were introducing 4K yeah. too. Hmm. The Tegra Four. The Tegra Four. Tegra Four. That's one more than three. It is. How many cores does it have? A lot. Four. Five. Five. Really. But okay. Really? Yeah. That's a weird number. It's. It, they are calling it the four plus one design. Well. <laughs> Forget that. Uh. <laughs> so the the way it works is that when it's you know busy and it's doing something important, it'll use all four. But when it's just like sleeping and just pulling updates, tweets, you know, from the Google, it'll use uh, the it'll other use the one. Fifth, the fifth low power one. Okay, I it's, suppose it's reasonable. It's okay, yeah, it's pretty reasonable. You don't really need a lot of horsepower to you know pull in updates. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about the Tiger Four? Well, the the first device that uh, was announced that is, has the Tegra 4 is the NVIDIA Shield, which it's basically an Xbox controller with a Tegra 4 processor in it and a little screen kind of slapped on the side. Okay, so I have to ask you, why is it called Shield? I don't know, because that doesn't like fit in with any of NVIDIA's other naming conventions. Okay, no, so also, it, nor does it fit in with, like, what you'd want to play a game as, like, you don't, like, walk into a dungeon with just a shield, you know, like... Oh, I totally would. NVIDIA Sword, maybe? That would be okay. I'm pretty sure I've done that in RuneScape. I'm pretty pretty sure I have, like, just had my wooden shield and just punched people. Okay, just so you know, that's not normal. I lost my sword for some reason. Well, I hope you lost the game for some reason, too. Yeah, just, you can't really lose RuneScape. You just die and then you come back. It's very distressing when you die, but you come so, back. Sounds like losing. Yeah. 
Okay. Sorry. Well, I, I think Shield was a poor name. I hope they that's code name and they actually marketed it. To something. Maybe they were trying to evoke the Marvel's Avengers. I hope not, because that's wrong. It's great. No. Samuel L. Jackson wants you to buy one. Well, I'm sure he does. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't he the main guy? Uh, he's their the black guy with the eye patch. Okay. Yeah. Um. But so the uh, the shield, in addition to you know just playing its little Android games on its little five inch screen, it can also output 4K resolutions to you know HDMI, and it also can play PC games by streaming it from your desktop that no, is running a an I, Nvidia I GeForce didn't, I GTX. I didn't read about this. Now, how do you connect it? I don't know if it has to be local area or if it can be over the internet. See, I was assuming it had to be physical in order to get the I, the throughput necessary because I don't think you can just do that over if Wi-Fi. If it just has to be, if it has to be physical, then why wouldn't you just play your PC game on your PC? Right. See, I was wondering. See, I didn't, I didn't find any words that I could read it, so I don't know. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm curious. I, I know, know. I mean, don't reportedly, it actually works. Well, I, the Verge says so, and they were playing with the device. So. You question the Verge? I'm not questioning them. I'm Good. saying that they said that it worked. No, I question the Verge. Okay. Um, yeah. So, like, hardware wise, you know, it, it seems like a great device. You know, mm-hmm. th- it, it seems like it performs well and everything. However, form factor wise, it doesn't really weird. make any sense. Like, it's not a good looking device by any means. It doesn't seem like it would be very, you know, convenient. It probably won't fit in your pocket. It's a freaking controller. Well, and it's a controller. And so I, so inside of it, it has 72 graphics cores, which is, you know, right. a certainly high number for a handheld or, mm-hmm. you know, mobile processor. Uh, it has four A15 processors. So that's pretty yep. fancy. Uh, and it, it has its own 4G and LTE, LTE processor as, wow. as an aside. Hmm. So you don't need to have a separate one for that. It's built in, nice. which is good. So it reduces power consumption and weight and you know, all sorts of stuff. So the next question is, why didn't they just make it a phone? The, the whole the thing. The shield or the... The Project Shield. Why didn't they just make it a phone and then it also make it a, a controller that a you control- could just plug in? Because that's ugly. I, I look at those and I go, wow, that's a terrible way to do it. I don't, I mean, I don't see the reasoning behind not making it just a phone. See, I think they're going in the right direction here because if you just make it a phone and then have a clip on, you know, game controller, Why I mean, it doesn't even have to be clip on or what, or whatever, you know, what have you. It, it doesn't matter if you're, if you have a phone and you want to game on the phone on the go, mm-hmm. you're not going to want to have to have a controller separate. I know, but that's You're what going the... to want to okay. just use the phone as it is. When I say phone, I mean more like an iPod Touch that just happens to be able to connect to a cell phone network. Like, okay. Like, maybe without the phone part, it just has 4G and LTE in it. Okay. Like, so data plan, not phone then. Sure. Like, so like and the then, 3G version of this. Right. So, can the display be disconnected from the controller? For the... The Project Shield. No. Well, see, that's wrong. I think that's very limiting and nearsighted. It is very limiting and nearsighted, but... Well, no, not nearsighted. Well... <laughs> wow, that's But funny. that's... The, but the whole point... The whole point of the, the device is not to be an actual... And it's not a touchscreen either, so uh, it's fine. It... What? Is it a touchscreen? It is. Oh, it is. dumb. Um... Yeah, Hold and, on, it, and well, it is, I... and it is running like Android, you know, stock yeah, Android, right. so you can check your emails on it and everything. But I don't see how you're going to be able to, you know, do anything useful. Well, I'm that. scrolling through my emails with the D stick. What they call it, D stick? I, I guess so. Analog stick, that, that thing. Well, that sounds dumb. That's what they're called. Analog stick? Why is it analog? <laughs> because it's not digital. It's Why not, not? It's not on or off. It's wherever you're pointing it. You know, when I code things digitally, I can have any value I want. Yes. But you know what that? No, no. <laughs> when we when we when they say digital, they mean is it a one or a zero? I know it's so dumb too. Well, what do you, what would you call that then? Anything. What would you, so so this this is this is digital and this. Well, is see, analog. the perception of digital is purely in an analog world. That was too deep for me. What? <laughs> okay, let's move on. It's not three in the morning yet. I will make sense of it then. Okay. Well, um, so it's apparently three and a half times faster than Tega three. Tega. Tegra. Yep. Tegra 3. Tegra. Ra 3. So what do you think of that? Seems reasonable. You think so? Yeah. So. I mean, well, maybe, I, I guess I was expecting more, but. I, I, I think it's a pretty good year over year improvement. Tegra 3 is only three, a year old? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Oh, well, yeah, that's pretty good. I think so. Yeah. Um, and of course, they'll do something absurd, you know, next year too, and the year after that. So, I mean, it's a good improvement. Yeah, I mean, the the mobile processor family is still young enough that oh, they can that, young. That, that they can that they can make these ridiculous improvements year over year by, by you know just kind of trying out well, new I, I, ideas. I don't see. I I think actually they can even do more than that. It's just if they do, they alienate too many people too soon. By upgrading too fast? Yeah. Mean? Oh, well. Like, I think they can pull out maybe not dramatic improvements like 3.5 in that case, but, you know, one or a 2x improvement. Yeah. You know, every six months or so. I think a, a, a 1x improvement. Good yeah. job. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. You don't like that? No. It's... <laughs> you know, that's going to be in my marketing. That would be a mar- That would be great for <laughs> yeah. marketing. You know, the Nexus is 1x times more popular than something else. <laughs> And its own fringes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we were talking about, before the show started, uh, about our thoughts on 4K and yeah. the, the the fact that it's in Tegra 4, that it can output 4K, means something special. It's very promising because, so I'm going to talk directly to Sam Roth here. Sam Roth, you think that the uh, PS4 will not be able to output to 4k because it will be quote too expensive it will it will drive the cost up of the device too much and sony will not be able to sell it for low enough to actually sell enough devices the way that you know the ps3 was too powerful cost too much nobody bought it initially um and i am going to reject that statement now because if a mobile processor the tegra 4 can can output to 4k and still be you know cost efficient then a console will be able to do that easy peasy. Oh yeah, definitely. Lemon squeezy. So, and not only that, if it can do 4K and still maintain frame rates, which is not, I, I mean, I, I didn't try it, but I assume that it must also somehow maintain some... Well, I mean, they're not going to build a, a portable gaming system that just drops frame rates when you try to go to a TV. That would be... Yeah, you know, you know, four frames per second. Woo! It works, but... Oh. Sure. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, so if it can maintain frame rates and it's, you know, not melting and it mm-hmm. works, then that's great. And I think a console could easily do it. Yeah. So do you know if, a, like, a modern uh, graphics card, like, for instance, a GTX 670 could do 4K at all? I would imagine it can because okay. there are monitors that are being sold on the market that are 4K resolutions. Well, okay then. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's a good thing. And when I bought my monitor, I had the choice of either doing 4K or doing 3D, and I opted for 3D because that sounded shinier. So let's pretend we're building a PlayStation 4. What graphics card would you put in it? Uh, one that doesn't exist. Okay, you really think so? Well, I mean, it's it's going to obviously be based on something recent, but probably won't be. I'm, I'm going to guess they're going to go with AMD because that's kind of what people do when they're yeah. making custom systems like that. Ew. I'm just saying. It's always re- based on Radeon, blah, 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 blah. Ew. Well, actually, graphics from the PS3 was hmm. NVIDIA. Wow. 500 megahertz. Woohoo! Slow. That's uh, incredible. Yeah. You know, my uh, 670 like is base clocked at like 1,000. Yeah. Yeah. Is that without the coil wine? Yeah, actually. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. Reality synthesizer. That's what they call it. The graphics card? Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's Sony for you. Yeah. See, see, I, I think it's I think 4K in a console makes a lot of sense because... That's where you're actually going to need to be well, able to output and, and, to 4K. And that's where I'll also be able to use it. I, I don't think a lot of TV and a lot of stuff will be able to just suddenly jump to 4K. It'll take years and years no. for people to buy cameras and to get bandwidth to do stuff in order to handle 4K. But games, but, you buy a game in a store, you put it in, you put your stupid disc in and you hit go and you get 4K out of it. Yeah, because it's being rendered there, by the game. Locally. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you don't have to record new stuff and you don't have to stream it. Yeah. The, yeah. the limiting the limiting factor in a game is how detailed are the textures? How many polygons so do that, we have? That, et cetera, et cetera. Well, there's only one polygon. It's polygon.com. But anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um it's next to the Verge, by the way. Um, but the question is... It used to be within the Verge. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm glad they got rid of it. Are they still associated? Are they still like... Is that like a trick question? The thing? What do you mean the thing? I mean, are, they're still the same company, right? Oh, yeah, they, Vox. Okay. Have you ever seen Vox's logo? Nope. I'll catch it later. I'll steal that, too. Great. Yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so you know how Blu-rays work, right? 
they store um, a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So if there on was like a, five layers or something like yeah, that. Yeah, on five layers and then dual sided and then uh 3D. Right. Yeah. Crystals. Right. Crystals and yeah, quantum stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so if there was a 4K game, what kind of like density do you think they'd have to pack into these? Digitally. Not analog? No, okay, that's not what I meant. I meant d- download it. No, I don't think you can do a downloaded 4K game. Well, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. No, that doesn't matter. The 4K doesn't matter in you terms of so. the in terms of the game size. No, because um for example, as I was telling you earlier, the uh I I played Half-Life 1, mm-hmm. which was released in in 1998, you know, was a tiny download, did not take up any space at all, and I was playing it at my native resolution in, in you know, a few years ago. Right. So, and obviously that resolution did not, like, exist in anybody's imagination in 1998. Right, no. But it just upscaled to it, so. Do you hear something? No. Okay. Ignore it. I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, so I, I, I think actually it might matter a little bit in the sense that textures will have to be higher res in order to Well, they're going to be anyway well yeah but they that the, you're going from your standard 1080 to whatever 4k is which is like four times bigger so you know stuff. 2000 something by 1440 or something like that something yeah 4k you know when you when you listen to the numbers it doesn't seem like it's that much bigger until you realize that you're multiplying the two numbers right. that are much bigger yeah it yeah i don't know i think it's i think i just like higher density so everything actually does look better yes yeah I don't, I don't know. A lot of people can't tell, but I like it. Yeah. And, I mean, Sam Roth is a, is a very, you know, resolution picky guy. Cause he's like, blind. I thought you were going to say resolute, but okay. No. <laughs> like his, his test, his test for the Nexus 7 to see if it had a nice display was, can I read it without my glasses at this distance? What's wrong with that? It seems fair. Yeah, I know. It's just, you know, can I read it? Like, all right, you're blind. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Well, okay. So what other things do they do at CES this year? Uh, I think Intel was there. Oh, Intel. You know, I've heard of them. I think they um did some stuff with yeah. uh, Haswell. Yes. So we knew about Haswell for, like, ever, but... You would know more about it than I would. You know, it turns out they didn't really reveal that much actual information about Haswell at their uh, conference thing. They just did. But we, but we know about it anyway. Yeah, we've known pretty much everything about Haswell since, like, the dawn of time. So then why would they need to update it on anything? Well, I'm just saying, like, they didn't really tell us anything. So the one thing they did tell us um, is that they, they made some new Ivy Bridge processors that are using below 10 watts um, of, you know, TDP. Okay. So um, usually Ivy Bridge processors, such as the one you find in my MacBook Air that's in front of you, uh, that's approximately 17 watts. So right. uh, it's not cutting it in half, but it's pretty good. That is so, pretty good. Um so allegedly we know a release date for Haswell now, so they're saying June, which is, you know, funny, because that's just in time for Apple to release new MacBook Airs, haha, <laughs> who thought of that? Um, and so what I hear is Intel's also going to be demanding Miracast built into all future things. They're going to be demanding some other thing, what is it called? What's Miracast? Miracast is kind of like AirPlay. Okay. So you can oh the Wi-Fi yeah it's, um, it's, it's, okay. no it's not Wi Di it's Miracast right you see I think there is some yelling yeah or something. I think there is yeah. hello hey look back to the show hey how's, how's it going I can't believe you turned down food for this I do I'm dedicated right you don't eat no I do eat right. I'm dedicated mm-hmm. uh huh. What were we talking about? I drink. Um, uh, Haswell, um, yeah, Miracast, you know, Y Die. Yeah, so I don't know anything about Y Die. They didn't make any good updates on that, but they did demand fourth generation Ultra Books, reco- you know, have Miracast in, which is great. Wow, yeah. Because I need a new laptop and stuff. I love it. I love it how Intel is in the position to demand that kind of thing because, <laughs> Isn't I mean, it? because the Ultrabook is their, you know, thing, their, their, their label mm-hmm. and they can label whatever the heck they want as an Ultrabook. So, right, and, exactly. and, it, and it's such a nice phrase. Like people hear Ultrabook and they're like, Oh, I want that, you know? And so, so if, if, if Intel can do nice things like demand Miracast, then yeah, it'll become a standard. Right. And so not only are they demanding that, but they're also requiring uh, new Ultrabooks to have touch capabilities. Now, why does a chip manufacturer, the processor manufacturer, get to demand that you have touch stuff on your Ultrabook? 
because there's a little puppet guy who's controlling. You want Intel. your Ivy Bridge? Well, he then says, say big week. I'm Microsoft. No, no, no. I'm Microsoft, and you need to have touch. No, no, no. I have Intel. Yeah, but no, no. The guy oh. behind Intel with the strings. Wait, you really think Microsoft had anything to do with that? I don't think so. Oh, no. No. Uh, they're also requiring instant on technology, which means just mm. solid state drive. That's what it means. Yep. Totally. Um, the, so, uh, Intel is hoping push to push touch enabled ultrabooks down to the 599 press print from the current 699. So it's a hundred dollar decrease. Now, either they're going to cut margins or they're going to cut costs. You know, it's the funny thing about six hundred dollars. Is that's how much I just sold my uh, two-year-old laptop for? Well, you could get of course, a. That's a much more impressive piece of hardware than uh, yeah. an ultrabook, right? Even at two years old. Oh, definitely. See, I so aside from all the things Intel's requiring, if Intel could require, I don't know, a glass trackpad with you know responsiveness to it. Is this glass? Yeah. Where's the glass? It it just has some crap painted on the bottom side of it, like it's colored glass. But it is glass. What? That's, that, that surface there is glass. Oh, I see it. It doesn't feel like glass. No, no, not at all. They did an amazing job with it, but it is glass. So okay. it's, it's essentially the same sensor that's on an iPhone 3GS, just nice. with glass on the top. No, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the Chromebook has a, has a nice oh. trackpad too. Most people don't understand the trackpads make or break a laptop. It does. And. Unless you're getting a gaming laptop well, right. and you're going to be using but a mouse anyway. When I say laptop, I don't mean gaming laptop. I know. I mean that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, this is the definition I, of a laptop. I understand, I, I understand the appeal of one of these now. Yeah. Now that I've gotten rid of my laptop. Right. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Once you get rid of it, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, know. actually when I got home and I was like, oh, I should go and do something online. Oh, let me get out my laptop. Oh, Darn. Oh, wait a minute. I have to walk upstairs. <sighs> Yeah, you know, I have all these devices. I have this desktop, I have the phone, I have that, I have that. So like, it's great that you're pointing at them, and so nobody can actually understand. <laughs> okay. what you're talking I have my about. phone, I have my Nexus Seven, I have my desktop, and I have my laptop. But they're never where I am in the house ever, unless I'm in this room. That's why I keep this thing in my pocket. Well, I don't like holding things, so I can't do that in my pocket. Well, I don't like holding things in your pocket either. Thanks. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you just yeah, I, you yeah. just went there. You just <laughs> <laughs> I didn't corrupt the show this time. You said it. I, I would have left it alone, but now you had to point it out. <laughs> point it out. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> like an accusing finger. Yes. Um. So, also another more important news: Intel is partnering with Comcast. What does that even mean? Well, let me tell you what it means. Somehow, um. If you have Comcast and you have a set top box from Comcast and you have a new, you know, uh, thingamajig, a new processor in your computer, uh, you'll be able to, like, I don't know, say big week to the, the box that you just happen to have and you can stream with Miracast the stuff from Comcast. So you're saying that you're, you're going through Comcast on your computer. Yeah. To the TV. Right. So and we can't do this over HDMI because because no. So what I mean is like if you have on demand stuff or you have a DVR, um, you can stream stuff to your computer. Uh, doing it. Stream stuff from the TV to the computer. Y- yeah. Or you know the the set top box. That's what I mean. So if you have, I so, thought we were going the other way. No, no, no. Oh. So if you if you have some like TiVo program or DVR program or you have some instant on demand stuff you want to watch, you can stream it from your set top box and record it on your computer. Probably not, but you can watch it, in theory. Instead of watching it on your TV. Yeah. What is this even? What? I don't know. I'm just saying. That's okay. what it is. I, I, I think it's funny that it's Comcast. So, um, along the lines of, uh, I guess, mobile processors. Oh, really? Snapdragon 800 and 600. Okay, and... now, weren't they calling Snapdragon processors with an S and then a number? I was too young. Okay, now... Uh, one time you were confused when I said, you know, there's a new S4 out, and then you were like, there's no Galaxy S4, what are you talking about? And then I'm like, no, the processor. You know what's funny is this time I thought you were talking about Amazon S3. <laughs> no! <laughs> wow. <laughs> there's too many S's. I know. Well, okay, what we mean is Snapdragon 800-600, what, what do you know about I that? thought there were too many A's. Oh, the, oh man, that's insane too. So not only are there A for ARM... But there's an a, there's like ARM v6 and v7 and v8 and v9 and then there's like could have had a v8 a, 
<laughs> and then there's Apple's A4 and A5 and A6 and A6X and A5X. That's not right. And then they skipped a bunch of them and like, and then went to A15. But then there's AMD who has like A10, A8, A6, and A4. And it's just insane. Okay. I don't know why. As but, you were saying. So the Snapdragon 800 and 600. Yeah. Are, uh, uh, using a 28 nanometer process. process. Which is yep. Great. Yep. Not Intel class, but pretty good. Um, the, well, that's okay because Intel isn't really into the mobile processor no, yet. No, they want to be. But I mean, I'd say 28 is really close to 22. It's about six. Nanometers. Six off. That's, yeah. Um, 800 megahertz DDR3 RAM. DDR3. Let me point that out to you. DDR. Three, not two. I mean, I've had that for years. I know, in a computer, but you never had it before in a device. This does not have DDR3. Mm. This is subpar. Oops. I don't know what you just did. I don't know. Crate. Crate 400 architecture at 2.3 gigahertz. Are, are we talking about like a Crate Dragon here? No, that's spelled different. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Star Wars. No, okay, I don't watch TV. No, um... I have it on Blu-ray. Well, you know what? We can watch it in 3D. Fine. Except I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> so, Crate is just uh, another architecture for the, uh, you know, like, you know, Ivy Bridge is an sure. architecture and has well as an architecture. So well, I need of. numbers then. Yeah. I well, want numbers. You don't get any. Oh. For the GPU, we have a an Adreno yeah. 330. So, to put that in comparison, um, my phone has an Adreno, like, 220. So, a little bit better in terms of, like, 100 and 10. 10. 10. <laughs> 4K output, once again, Woo! at 30 frames per second, which is not good enough for me. I don't think so. Yeah, I agree. Because then if you have anything that goes wrong, it's going to be noticeable. Well, I assume that's like at max, too. So most games don't ever get to whatever max is. Unless you're on the 670. But that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, on the 670, I'm actually running at 120 hertz because... A re- refresh? Or, I mean, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Frames per second. Okay. That, cause hertz is actually in French per second. That's what hertz means, right? Yes? No? No? Never no. mind. Okay. Well, I'm actually at 120 well, frames per second, like... but I'm doing two 120 oh, okay. frames per second, yeah. so it's actually 60. Right. Well, so when you say frames per second, that's how many times it's drawing to the screen, or the graphics card is outputting to the screen. Yeah. The, the hertz is how often the screen refreshes. Sorry, Sorry. yes. That's, different. that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Just saying. Yeah. Mm hmm. And when we're at 2K, which is, is that regular 1080? No, no, that's 2K. That's, what is 2K? Half of 4K. Why would you do it at half of 4K? Well, 2K is essentially 2 times 1080. Okay. Just think about, yeah, K, right, 2. But there's nobody that's doing 2K. Well, no, but you can do it if you want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, K. 2K. Right. And That's if, a good publisher. They have some good games. FAFSA. No, FIFA. 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 <laughs> Not FAFSA. Wait, is that on 2K? No. No. So what are you talking about? I don't know. God. You're so indecipherable sometimes. Device availability in mid-year. Great. Yeah. You know, so... Who who all uses Snapdragon? Um, I know that... Galaxy S number. Okay. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Kind of important. Yeah. It's funny because Samsung actually has yeah, their own processors. Yeah, I was just thinking that doesn't make any sense. What's going on? Um, yeah, so it actually matters a lot. Um, I wonder when an S4 will come out. I mean, a uh, Galaxy S4. That one. Yeah, not, not the processor. <laughs> yeah. um, so, I mean, it matters a lot. So you should, uh, you know, find out. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure I will once it's on your show. Oh, my show? Because yeah. on the gadget show, huh? Yeah. Huh. You're where I get all my gadget news. Since when? Since you started. Oh. I never, I didn't care about gadgets until you started. And then I was like, hey, look, cell phones are actually a thing. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, also at the Qualcomm keynote, guess who was there? Oh, I don't know. Maybe their president, CEO, you know, somebody they know, somebody important. Somebody important, but not for them necessarily. Oh, you mean a troll? Sure. Okay, who? Steve Ballmer. Oh, that's such a troll. Guess who wasn't there? Bill? Steve Jobs. Oh, well, yeah. No. No. Too soon? No, not at all. Oh, good. Nobody cares. Good. Um, so yeah, he, uh, what did he talk about? I, I didn't even watch it. I, I just know he was there. No, I tried to watch it, but it didn't buffer for me at the time. Was so he yelling didn't... about developers again? No, actually, he was not yelling about developers. I don't actually know what he was doing. I think he was trying to tout Windows 8, essentially, okay. running on RT, I mean, uh, ARM chips. So do you know who else wasn't actually there? No. Microsoft, other than Steve Ballmer. Oh, you mean at CES? They mm. did absolutely nothing. 
You know, uh, it's funny that you mentioned that because a few years ago they decided to drop out of CES altogether. But they were still there. Right. And then they actually just did disappear, like, completely. They just stopped bringing products in general. And so it was actually the first the first year they tried to do their own tablets, you know, when Android had the first Honeycomb. So it was about mm-hmm. three years ago. That's the year they decided. Honeycomb is three years old? Basically, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I know. Wow. Maybe two years. I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell because like it came out then, but it didn't come out for people until after. Okay. Yeah. It's confusing. Right. Um, but like that year that Microsoft tried to counter them with Windows 7 tablets, it didn't work out for them. And I would imagine no. No. And the year after they just kind of stopped. Even, even Windows 8 tablets aren't no. making a splash at all. Well, they're underwater. You know what can go underwater and survive? Sony's, uh, oh, yeah. Xperia, is that how you say that? Xperia. Xperia? Yeah. Okay, they're Z slash ZL. So the Z is the one that can go underwater. Ah. The ZL is the bigger one that cannot go ah. underwater, but apparently is the better one. I thought the Z slash ZL was all one. No. One. No? Okay. No. So yeah. So they have basically the same specs, it's just a little different. Except, yeah. Yeah. One of them's waterproof. Well, and one of them is bigger, and one of them has a better processor. Oh, look, Snapdragon. Oh, They're really? Snapdragon. Oh, isn't that funny? And I, I misspoke. Uh, Samsung actually doesn't use the, the thing, the Snapdragon. Ah. Yeah. They use? They, they, they use the Xenios. Okay. As I mentioned previously, previously to the French. Right. The other room French. We that really we didn't shouldn't make. talk without these microphones, ever. <laughs> See, it turns out, yeah. You should just kind of wear one. Maybe that's what Gabe Newell meant when he said something about wearable technology. Oh, I thought that's what he meant when he said I was watching you. He watches us? Yeah. Did, did you ever see that? Does he know when we're sleeping? He knows when we're awake? Well, he knows when you play with Steam. He knows if we've been got bad or good. So have a good Steam score, for goodness sake. Who's watching? Tell me who's watching? Who's watching me? <laughs> that's wonderful i'll put that in the show notes for all of our oh my gosh how did i do that that's cool huh i hope he's gotta know about that oh yeah it's his website is it i think so really <laughs> it's gabe org. i assume that's his i mean i don't know i i wouldn't make assumptions okay well, because it should be his i mean it doesn't seem like something that he would put up there i don't know he's kind of weird like that yeah, what were we talking about? Sony, yeah, them. Sony, yep. So the phone's really nice. So it, it does look really nice. So unfortunately, it's a lot like the Nexus 4 in the sense that it has Gorilla Glass on both sides of it, so it's effortlessly breakable. But it's Gorilla's. And glass. And glass. Well, you know what was supposed to come out this week? Gorilla Glass 3 was supposed to come out this week, but I didn't hear anything about it. Huh, well, so much for that. Uh, another news, uh, it has a 1080p display, which is fancy, I hear. Yeah, I especially know. on a small thing like that. Yeah, that, that, that the resolution on that thing must be like a travesty. Well, it does have a 13 megapixel camera, which well, that's, is a that's lot good. better than a lot of actual cameras no, that it, all actual people have. You know, it's funny though, because just because it has a lot of megapixels doesn't mean the sensor is uh, no. in dark light, which is important. But, um, also that I didn't write it down, but I did read about it. It has, um, another mode, a continuous shooting mode that can do nine megapixel frames, like every, like, 0.01 seconds or something. So it's essentially video at that point, And it will just keep going like frame by frame until either there's no more battery power or there's no more space on the card. You and you can't a, stop it? No. And that's a feature apparently. You can't. No, I think you can stop it, but it'll just keep going as, okay. until you do. But it's just like, wow. I guess. It's a like, feature. I want to make sure that nobody's going to come into my room. Who's watching you? Like... <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently my Sony Xperia. Is... Yeah. And, and so if you look at the phone, it actually looks great. It's, it's a beautiful phone. Um, I really like its squareness, but I, uh, the, my big problem with it though is that it's not stock. What, what UI does Sony, Sony do? Sony. They, they just have, okay. Cause I mean, I, I don't hear much about Sony phones. No, yeah. I mean, obviously they are high quality, but I, you don't see them in the market mm-hmm. very much. Um, you know, usually you don't, um, hear about them because they're not that good. Um, but because this one's good, you're hearing about it. Well, that's good. Um, so this is the same chip that's conveniently in, um, the Nexus 4 and the uh, LG Optimus G, which is Nexus 4 is based on. So it's actually a Nexus 4, just, you know, slightly newer and souped up a little bit. And with a UI slapped on. Yeah, crappy. Uh, it has a great battery, though, compared to the Nexus 4. That's good. Um, 
it, it has 4.1 on launch and 4.2 sometime afterwards, so it's not like the Nexus 4 in that regard. How sad. But, you know, if I was not, if I didn't hate Sony, I'd totally buy it. Why do you hate Sony? Um, you have a PS3, and you love uh, Unfortunately, Journey. my love for Final Fantasy and Journey trumps my hate for, for Sony. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. That, that That's fair. good for Sony. Okay. Why do you hate Sony? I don't understand. Well, I mean, I just do. They have horrible products that don't make any sense, like this one. I don't know anything about that one. So this you is tell called me. a remote. Now. It's got a screen on it. Now, it has a kind of a screen-ish kind of thing-ish on it. I think it's more of a touchpad and less of a screen. Here, let's watch the video. Without audio. <laughs> oh, look, it's the troll guy who makes fun of Chevy people. and See, I, don't, I don't know if it's a screen. I was thinking it was a touchscreen. I didn't actually watch the video beforehand. Oh, look, it's got the little microphone that I we do. love so much. Uh-huh. Google! And he praises the iPad. How many kilometers are in a mile? Oh, wait, that was Siri. Same thing. To okay. ensure your safety. Anyway. I'm not so, going to tell you something that you need to know while you're driving. Yeah, I don't know. We'll listen to the French for more. So, this is a remote. It's supposed to um, enable to you to control your Sony something or other um, through Google TV, through the mic that's on it. Now, well, the reason I picked this to to whine about is because it looks like a travesty. It looks terrible. There are colored buttons. There are more buttons. There are more buttons. And uh, wait, well, the colored buttons, buttons are pretty standard for actual remotes. I was going to say those are pretty standard Google colors, but okay. <laughs> uh-huh. um, it's a remote. Who needs a remote? I mean, the point is to get rid of the remotes. What is Sony smoking? Oh, and look, there's a keyboard in the back. Oh, no. Oh, See, yeah. See, I, I didn't think it looked that bad until you showed me that. I mean, I just, I'm just not, not a fan. Like, what, what are they doing? Why are, are there well, products? There are people who aren't going to be wanting to let go of. The, well, they're not going to be wanting to hold that either. The, the remotes. I, I think, um, I think Sony is smoking something. I mean, I'm kind of crazy, but you know what I would want in my living room if I had a living room, um, would be, you know, an actual PC hooked up to my computer. And you know, then I would just stream everything off of that. It's funny because a lot of people try to buy these little Roku things or these Google TV things. And a computer really is quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Windows is always going to be supported for everything. You'd be surprised. I can guarantee you. You know, except Linux. What? What? I just said Windows. I know. Windows isn't supported on Linux. I don't care. I'm not trying to stream Linux. Well, good choice. Anyway, you know what you should stream? You should stream some music to these really expensive Bluetooth speakers. Ah. So I like these because they look really... Um, future Futury. They look like eggs. I was thinking they're kind of... They remind me of that Halo thing, you know, the thing that floats around it, like, tells you to blow up the world or something. I was thinking of Eva from WALL-E. Well, see, I don't watch movies that don't have words in them. Eva is a word. I said movies with words in them. See, this thing, I was kind of thinking it looks like that. I don't know what that is. Well, it's a thing in Halo. I don't know what it is either, but it's a thing. And it tells you to blow up things? Yeah, I think it I think it did. Are you sure that's not Cortana? Doesn't she tell you to do stuff? No, that's when she went crazy. Which time? Oh, I see. I didn't play the game, so yeah, I don't know. No. I, I just heard it. Here's huh, the... Very expensive Bluetooth speakers? <laughs> Bluetooth! <laughs> <laughs> you got a problem? <laughs> that would be an Asari, I assume, with the Bluetooth. Play Mass Effect. I don't watch TV. Blue aliens. They're uh, hot. See, They're hot. Gonna... Okay. They have blue toots. Krogan? Yeah, well, that's another one, but they're never the romance options, which is annoying. Oh, see, I never played the game, so it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. So they yeah. look like eggs. I, I, I Speakers do. Do you know how much they are? Well, they're only one ninety nine and two ninety nine. They're tiny. Why yeah. would you pay that much for something so small? Exactly. That's why I think it's ridiculous. Uh, luckily... You don't need a Sony phone to take a, take advantage of the features. You just need a phone that has NFC enabled. So literally none. I said phone. This would work. I know. So wait, 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 wait. NFC. You mean I'm going to have to like walk up to it with my tablet, touch it to it, and maybe, leave maybe, my tablet there in order to make it work? I maybe, thought you said it was Bluetooth enabled. Maybe just repairing. Okay. Which would be reasonable. That would be reasonable, but even if you don't have NFC enabled, why can't you pair them over standard Bluetooth pairing? Oh, look, both offer the same one-touch pairing and connecting via NFC. Huh. Okay. Makes sense. So you don't need NFC, you just need... No. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's kind of pointless. I I don't know. Sony. Oh, look. Miracast, except it's not Miracast on... It says Miacast. Same thing. Man, that guy's face is showing up everywhere. Maybe he was the only one there. I can't. Oh my gosh. Maybe maybe The Verge was the only people at CES this year. Well, I mean, since all of your your 
articles are from The Verge. The, of Wait, course, we're going to be seeing stuff from them. You think that's the case? I mean, I don't think that would actually be true. That's not a case. That's a TV. Okay. What do you think this is? Oh, it's a phone. Okay. Well, at least they're not using an insane remote. Anyway, the point is, Sony is adding Miracast to all of its high-end TVs. But the, So that means, in other words, if you just walk into Best Buy you know, in the next year or two, you will not see one because nobody's actually going to buy a high-end TV. Oh. What are you going for? Oh, I was going to go walk into Best Buy and just start streaming stuff off of whatever. That would be so the, funny. That would be great. That would be hilarious. Can you imagine? How- Man, I need to go find some porn. Yeah, can you imagine how crappy that's going to be for them? I hope I hope Sony makes a way to turn it off in store. Well, you, yeah, of course. But you know we're going to be. Able to... <laughs> oh look, there was a bug. Wink, wink. Wow. Oh you're... look, that kid's been scarred for life. <laughs> oh, the yeah, three DS oh. already did that to him. Yeah. Hmm. Uh huh. What? What? Whoa. <laughs> I broke the bird. Oh, does that? Well, that doesn't sound too hard. Great. So, um, more stuff. Sony, Sony's doing good stuff. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, did we talk about? Did we talk about the Samsung well, floating this, TV? This is the one in the frame. So this this is a Samsung TV. This is an eighty five inch. That's huge. That's, that's big. That's like the size of this room, basically. I mean, you know, like on that wall, right? Right. There. And that's pretty big do you want to put an easel on that wall you know you know i don't i mean this thing just looks like a travesty and it's not like if this if it didn't have borders and like the easel was clear you know be totally maybe okay yeah but what were they thinking when they did this it doesn't float yeah it's not just look at actually let's try let's try throwing it in the water see if it works you know matt would love to do this (laughs) oh look twenty nine thousand dollars thrown into a pool oh yeah um so that's not the biggest TV no, that was on that was on the at biggest. the show. No, nope. the biggest one was a 110 inch 4K display. Uh, who was showing that again? I, I'm not sure. I forget. I don't know. Um, but there was there was a gigantic. The Verge didn't cover it. No. Uh, yeah, they yeah, did. They did. <laughs> I read it on their thing. Of course. Um. Yeah. In terms of uh, let's get into computers. Oh dear. What have I done? Okay, good. That was three fingers. Um, I accidentally... Are you serious? Why? No. <sighs> I'm going to let that go. Good. Okay, so let's move on to phones. I thought you were moving on to computers. Oh, computers. We're moving on to computers. Right. Computers. Uh, Lenovo. Lenovo. Oh, Metro. Lenovo. I think Lenovo was doing stuff with Metro. Um, so they have a bunch of uh, Windows 8 hardware and they're actually really nice computers which i'm surprised at that's impressive i thought so so they're they're reasonably thin uh they're going to be um 21 millimeters thick but it's kind of heavy in my opinion 4.4 pounds is kind of big uh you know uh is this their big old 27 inch it's thing um Oh no, of 14 not. inch, I believe. Okay. Um, and um, the one of the reasons I I picked this story in particular is that they're talking about their intelligent touchpad, which is a trackpad that supports uh, Windows 8 gestures, which I hope means that it doesn't suck. Probably. I mean that that is what Microsoft was going for when they made this push for gestures. They're like, yeah, yeah make make good stuff. Make good stuff, not crap stuff. Um, the, the things are going to have integrated gra- Intel graphics, um, but the the big ones will have NVIDIA uh, discrete graphics. So that's that's pretty good. Allegedly having eight hours of battery life and allegedly being relatively expensive, but under a thousand dollars. So in terms of desktops, they have this ridiculously monstrous. It looks like a train. It looks I, like I, it looks like a big locomotive that is going to come and run you over. I like it. I think it looks it's, really nice. It look it does look really nice. Very sleek. Um, if you look on the inside, they, they got a picture right down oh, below that with, on the inside. It, oh, that looks like crap. Yeah, it does look like crap. I wonder what, uh, does it say what video card it's using? Does anybody know? Uh, something GeForce. Yeah. Oh, 660 right there. Okay. It says 660. Yeah, that's kind of too bad. I assume that since it's a, a desktop, you can sit, tell them, give, me a, different, give me a different but, graphics card. But it's $1,500 for 660. Yeah. I just built a computer that totally... It's well, not. That's the point of building a computer. Is you know you don't have to. Maybe maybe the case with... costs a lot. Well, I, it, you're paying for the look. Obviously, you if you want something that looks like a locomotive, you're not going to be able to get it for cheap. <laughs> no, no, I suppose not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is the graphics card above the processor? What is going on? Yeah, here? that's what I was mentioning. It's it's very odd. 
what makes you also wonder what processor they're using. Isn't oh, it I see. Okay, so the entire motherboard is flipped around. Well, not only the SATA that, cables are. Oh my god! And it's all like I don't know. It's water cooling based, also. So that's also a weird thing too. I don't even see where the water goes. Well, that's in. This is the radiator for the water cooler. Uh, and this is the cap. Okay, got it. Yeah, it's kind of different. That would be why it doesn't have an immense cooler over this the CPU. I yeah. was wondering about that. And maybe that's why it can be such a small board. It, that's extraordinarily custom then if that's the case i mean the board the board doesn't look like anything impressive but you know they don't have to look good no speaking of unimpressive things they're also coming out with some all-in-one pcs so for the same price you can get uh you know the computer in the monitor uh it is nice though because they have a 1080 option but also an enhanced 1440 version that is 4k right that 1440 is not 4k what is 4k then 4k well because I always thought that it was 2560 by 1440 was 10K. No. Nope. 4K. Nope. Uh, 4096 by 2160. Oh, boy. That is a lot. Yeah. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. Kind of, kind, of kind of bigger. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. So if you like all one PCs, you can get a, you know, for just, you know, a lot of money, you can get some crap. Or, better yet, you could get the same computer I just built and two 27-inch monitors from Cat Leap. There you go. Yeah. Um, and I believe the 27 inch, uh, all in one PC was what I saw a video of. And it's, it can, you know, not that one, but, uh, mm-hmm. th- they have a 27 inch all in one PC that, you know, has touch and everything. Yeah. And it, it ha- just has like this little kind of kickstand on the back that you can flip up and then you just carry it to some other part of the house you with know, you because it's a tablet. It's 27 you know, inches. <laughs> No. no. No? Well, I wonder if uh the mouse or, like, if they have an add-on peripheral that allows for trackpadness. I want a trackpad. Right. Yeah. You're a uh, weird Apple-like I, uh, person. No. Anyway, they're also coming up with some new ThinkPads in the your tablet division. Um, It's going to have Gorilla Glass, which is great. It's going to be 1.6 pounds. And you know, you were just insulting Gorilla Glass. Or, well, no, they're supposed to come out with new Gorilla Glass. Where is it? Oh, okay. They, they, they don't say here. It's just Gorilla Glass. Doesn't say if it's three or not. Go Rilla. Okay. Uh, and it's going to have Windows 8 on all of those things, so have fun with that. Of course they will. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they can't come out with Windows 7 things anymore. Like, I'm pretty sure they their could, agreement, I'm would, pretty sure their agreement says no. Shot. Steve Ballmer will shoot, jump on you. Shoot, um, shoot them in the face. That sounds like Steve Ballmer. Um, speaking of laptops and computers, uh, the, uh, Samsung. Yeah. Un- unveiled two new series, the Series 7 Kronos and the Series 7 Ultra. Uh, which do stuff. So the Kronos is aimed at professionals, but it, 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 professionals that don't like speed because it has a terabyte hard drive. Uh, a crappy eight, well, no, so that's not crappy. That's an 8800, which is odd because this isn't like the current gen top of the line 77, like 79 something. Yeah. Yeah. So how does that work? What is this? Is this fake? Is this, this is from the future. Well, this is from the future. So we're already at 88. Wow. We just jumped like two and a half generations. Great. Good stuff. Uh, two gig of memory built into that graphics card, uh, a, a quad core i7, current gen though, so Ivy Bridge, so it's not Haswell, which is, you know, oh well. Um, 16 gigs of memory and 22 millimeters thick. Uh, they don't say how much weighs unless they do, oh wait, 5.8 pounds, so it's, you know, heavy. It's not, you know, for the faint of heart. 1080, 1080p display, which is great. Okay, please. I just came from a 16 inch monster and. See, so what I'm saying is... This thing's not heavy. Laptops need to be air. Wait. Mm-mm. Get it? MacBook that, that's, Air? That's what these are supposed no, to be. That, that is too slow to even be counted as living. Don't you insult my Bianca. That again? Yes. Okay. That's um, her name. You you do that. A 10-inch optional... Uh, not 10-inch. 10-point touch screen if you really want that. I don't, wow. I hope, yeah. you don't, I hope you don't want that. Um... And allegedly, 11 hours of battery life. This laptop That's, sounds amazing. Wow, yeah. Does anybody know how much it costs? Um, uh, your firstborn son. Yeah, basically. Uh-huh. Yeah. The Series 7 Ultra uh, is a more sensible balance, bringing you a 13-inch display at 1080p resolution with an i5 or an i7, discrete 8570 graphics card somewhere in it with one gig of memory, uh, and an SSD. But I, 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 I have to ask why it only weighs an absurd three pounds when it's supposed to be light and small. Eight hours battery life. Yeah, you know, why is, why is it called Kronos and why is it called Ultra when neither of them are that good? I don't know. So do you think these count as Ultra Bucks? 
Is this an ultra book right here? Um, that does seem a little bit too big to yeah, be, you know, too thinking. too heavy to be an ultra book. So what um, what is the limit for an ultra book? Like three pounds? Well, I don't I don't know what the actual limit is, but I you know, if you buy an ultra book, hopefully you're you are expecting to get something that is nice and fast, doesn't have a dedicated graphics card, uh, is you know small and doesn't have like an obnoxiously loud fan and uh. So I, n- light. I never heard of this, but apparently the the specifications for Ultrabook things, they're named. So wow. the current one is called Chief River. The first one was called Huron River. The newest one that's coming out in 2013 is Shark Bay. Who came up with that name? Intel. Who came up with like, okay, we're going to name these after bodies of water. <gasps> that's really weird. So At yeah. least it's unique. Oh, very. Are yeah. they in alphabetical order though? I don't think so. How was Huron before Chief? No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they're geographically aligned somehow. With the stars. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look. Uh, stuff. Let's um, see. Is Vizio... Vizio's got to be doing some interesting things with computers. They're doing tablets. I don't know what they're doing with computers. Oh, they oh, do have... Might. They do have uh, Windows 8. Um, Not RT crap uh, tablet. And it's actually using AMD as its... Um, processor instead of hmm. an Intel chip. Um, you never hear anything about AMD these days, so kind of good. Um, so it's going to be an 11-inch tablet, 1080p display. Uh, it's a dual-core Z60 chip, so I don't know anything about the Z line. It's kind of an obscure, not, like, you know, big stuff. I don't know. It's good. There's but some the, graphs. They got numbers. Yeah, I don't... I wouldn't... Seems legit. It, it only has 2 gigs of memory. It it only has sixty four gigs of storage. It's a tablet that sucks, so don't buy it. Yeah. Wait, um, two gigs of storage? Two gigs of memory, sixty four gigs of storage. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I, I know what you mean though. It's it's crappy. Don't buy that. Um, but the, as we mentioned earlier at the top of the show, the the Vizio tablets are great. So the as we mentioned, the seven inch Nexus Seven like tablet has a Taker Three, stock Android four point two, uh, twelve eighty by eight hundred resolution, crappy camera. Only one front camera. That sounds very, very, very familiar. Very reminiscent, huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the the better one though is the 10 inch Tiger 4 stock Android 4.2 and launch. Really, really light apparently, as we heard. Yep. From did, did we hear that? From what's his face? The guy know. who keeps seeing. Oh well, that's Neil. I all over the place. That's Neil. I. Um. Uh. The resolution is amazing. Twenty twenty five sixty by sixteen hundred, and I hear that it's really light. Yeah. Yeah. It look. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Hey, you want to talk about Cube? Cube. 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 I wonder if there's a video of this, because I need to see it. So, yeah, this is... uh, Is this supposed to be, like, the Nexus Q that is actually going to work? Or is it... So... I mean, because it's it's not a... On the day this was announced, I read about it on Twitter, you know, in 140 characters, and I thought for sure it was, like, Google's joke. Like... You know, like, April Fool's Day! Like, you know, they have a billion dollars just sitting around for jokes. Like, I'm sure they have well, a course. joke department. And I thought, I thought, like, you know, the next Q was a perfectly round sphere. And I thought it'd be hilarious to call it the next one a cube and make it a cube. And it's like, I thought it was a joke and it was real and it was, I don't get it. Oh, man. So what is this thing? Tell me about it. So, well, I have to read the article now. <laughs> Reasonable. I mean, it, it, I, from what I can gather really quickly is that it's, uh, it, you set it next to your TV and it does things to your TV. It's essentially a Nexus TV device. Like, that's what it's kind of is, but it's not Google branded. Right. Well, Asus has been Google branded before. But it's not being branded by Google. That's, that's what I mean. That's good. Um, but also it, it has a stupid interface. It's called the Cube interface developed only by Asus and it shows everything on the screen by rotating a cube. On the screen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Um, it kind of reminds me of the uh, PS2. You remember, like, the main menu where it was just, like, the kind of the floating balls of light around? And yeah. then there were, like, some yeah. abstract... Things. Like, Sh- cubes that were that were well, the, transparent. I don't even and... know if those were cubes. They are more like the shapes. There was, like... Yeah. I know what you mean. I mean they, they were rectangular prisms. Mm-hmm. And... Well, so, uh, that, that feature you're talking about, though, I miss it on the PS3... It's one of the reasons I bought the PS3, so I could have a nice interface. I don't lie. Um, but uh, when I was listening to The Dark Tower back in middle school, where you learned all mm-hmm. your things, mm-hmm. um, 
I was listening to that's the where audio- I grew up. Yeah, that's where you grew up. All right. I was listening to all the audiobooks uh, at the time, and I would leave it on the clock screen. And it was really cool. So, like, as time would go on through the audiobook, all you know, all the bars would fill up with light, and then at midnight, it spin around and empty on the PS2 or the yeah PS- on the PS2. Okay, and it was really cool, and I wanted a PS3 to do that and do more. And it's like, nope, denied. Oh well, no clock. But the PS3 does other things that are nice. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. This is CES. So. Uh, there's nothing here at CES. We're going to talk about the PS4. Right. Yeah. Uh, you get 50 gigabytes of cloud storage through Asus. So, you know. But it's not on my Google Drive. No. It's not worth it. No no word on price, but I'm going to guess that it does not cost $2.99 like the next Q. So, what are you supposed to put in that online storage anyway? Well, it's kind of a Google TV-like device. So, in theory, you'd put content of some sort. So, like, I see something that I want to watch later, and I record it and put it in that online storage? No. That sounds dumb. I don't think it would work like that either, so I don't I don't really know if they know what you're supposed to do with it either. Okay. Yeah. Kind of that situation, unfortunately. Unlike, uh, you know what, what, what would help you in a certain situation? Four, I mean, uh, a 512 gigabyte flash drive. That would help you in a lot of places, wouldn't it? Oh, for sure. Well, what if it was not 512, but instead a terabyte? Would you like a terabyte flash drive? Okay, I'm going to go with yes at this point, just because it's a freaking terabyte. Well, let me tell you, for a 512 version of this terabyte hard drive... Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> It'll only cost you $1,750 by now. Oh, by the way, it's USB 3. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I mean, then... Uh, it's almost o- worth it then, isn't o- it? Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get any sort of transfer rate oh. whatsoever to your terabyte. No. Like, you wouldn't be able to put any amount of stuff on there <laughs> without funny. having to wait for two weeks. Yeah, I, I I think it's funny. So this is from Kingston, and it's their colossal uh, data traveler HyperX Predator. How many words can you put in Ooh. one title? <laughs> That's um, lovely. <laughs> and so you can get 240 megabytes uh, download and 160 upload in, in terms of throughput and stuff. Um, that's th- all through USB 3. Well, you know, it's kind of expensive. I don't think you should buy now, but man, that's a good deal. Well, of course not. I'm not a CEO. No. Uh, if you were a CEO and you stored all your files unencrypted, woo, good stuff. Do it now. Backup awareness day. Every day of the week. All the time. So, Huawei. Oh, you mean Hawaii? No, Huawei. I Hawaii. mean, wa- Huawei. It's, uh, wa- wa- it's Chinese. I bet you Say can- what? Wait a minute. <laughs> Google Translate that. Okay. Wait, how? I uh, just oh no now it's gonna read the whole sentence. Good enough. No no read the read the uh the Chinese version. That's Japanese. That's not Jap. What? I, I don't know. It's like a, I don't know. Like is there an auto button? No no okay. Do Chinese over on the other side where we're. Oh, I... What have you done? Do you understand how this computer works? No, really. It's done. It's under the seas. To English. Is okay yeah, term? and then delete everything except for the the first word. I don't care what you translate it to. It doesn't matter. We're just going to make it read the Chinese over on the Chinese side. There it is, English. Okay, so. Okay, good. Click on the, yep, right there, that one. (laughs) (laughs) That did not work out to see now. He prizes the iPad. (laughs) Okay, no, so it it actually is. Okay, try. try. (laughs) Who or why pronounced Huawei? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, though, it actually is pronounced Huawei. Huawei. Hawaii. So, they are coming out with a couple of phones. It's a bunch of crap. And one of those phones is putting the Galaxy Note 2 to shame. Is it really? Because it has well, a 720p display, so it's like a joke. It's putting it to shame in the sense that you can hold it in your hand and people will go, Hey, nice iPad mini. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because it is a 6.1 inch phone. <laughs> What's ridiculous? You know, you know, it's not even that good. Um, because it's you know it's only a quad core processor. You know, it's only 1.5 gigahertz. It it's has, not even their flagship device and it's either. From Huawei, like it's a no name brand. It's a no name developer. And well, according to the U.S. I, I government, don't know if it's no name over in China, but and according to the U.S. government, they're here to steal our proprietary secrets. And 
That's great. Yeah, you know, um, their skin crap on top of Jelly Bean. That it using, looks like an iPhone. It looks terrible. And, you know, there's only two redeeming qualities. Magic Touch, which allows you to use it through gloves, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's actually really nice in, you know, in, in America where it's cold. Um, but also it's ridiculously large battery. It's 40 mAh battery, for, uh, 4,000. So it's, uh, you know, large. This has like a 1,700. So it's four times the battery capacity of this phone. Well, it's going to need that because it's got a 6.1 inch display. Uh, yeah. What is this? Like 5,000, I think? Yeah. I have no idea. I don't know. It's enough for me. Yeah. Let's see. Do we have anything else here? Um, we covered everything up top and we're just going down the list now. Okay, good. Yep. So Valve. Valve, very near, Valve? very near and dear to my heart. Wait, wait, are they watching you? Valve, no, just Gabe Newell. Okay. The rest of Valve doesn't care. No. Well, I mean they do, but in a different sense. Um, so Valve has been meeting with hardware manufacturers to help those manufacturers optimize uh, their versions of the Steam Box. So when did we hear about the Steam Box first? We heard, I think it was almost a year ago, actually, when it was first rumored that Valve was coming out with mm-hmm. a, you know, a smaller sized PC for the living room. And then Valve was like, nope, totally not happening. Totally not. And then they made big picture mode and then they realized everybody wants it. And so then they are totally coming out with a Steam box, except that they have never used that phrase ever. No, no. Which is Until the- now. No, they still haven't. No? Nope. It's well, just, that's yeah. misleading. What yeah. do they call it? Well, they don't. <laughs> they don't. They they are meeting with uh, hardware manufacturers to create, to to help them optimize their, you know, systems that are going to be compatible with Steam. Hmm. So basically, um, like, Valve is making their own version of this, and it's going to be a, uh, the rumor, the likely hood is that it's going to be running on Linux mm-hmm. and it will be running uh Steam Big Picture mode. And Reasonable. you can and Gabe Newell has said that you can install Windows on it if you want. Um it in it, quotes. It, on the device. On I know, but they don't call it anything, so well, no, it's, it's kinda of funny. Yeah, of course not. Um and uh so they they're using CES not really to demonstrate this thing so much as actually, you know, get work done. Mm-hmm. And uh but one of their partners which is XI3, I guess Z3 yeah, it's, it's something. Weird. Yeah. No, no, no. They um they have been showing off the piston. I uh, get it. Steam piston. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's so um it's uh it's this tiny little box that uh if that's what it looks like, runs, I buy one. It it runs uh Steam. And well, see I almost don't want to buy one because it it looks like it's the same size as the Ouya. That's why I like it. And yeah. like you can't fit it anything has holes. in there. It's supposed to play PC games, remember? It has holes. It's supposed to play PC games. My entire tower is made of holes. Holes yeah. where air flows through it and makes it nice and cool. Really? Yeah. Actually, my my tower does stay nice and cool. It's yeah, really me, nice. mine too. Mine yeah. never gets hot. Um, and so no, but my room does, which is really nice because then I go to sleep and it's like seventy one. Nice. And uh, but yeah, so um, so yeah, they've been showing that off, and uh, we don't really know what the specs are, but apparently it is based on the X seven A, which is another one of their products, which is priced at a thousand dollars. Okay, so let's let's do some guessing. Do we what what is that? Guessing on what? X seven A. X seven A. Um, X I three. Dumb numbers. <laughs> Do they have a website? I don't know. Loading. Their website's down. Oh, broke the internet. Just click on the thing again. You know that looks exactly like the piston. Okay, so that is a lot of ports on one tiny little I thing. I didn't know that it was possible. That's very custom if that's the case. I would totally. So the X seven A. Uh. Uses just 40 watts power. It carries a quad core 64 bit x86 32 nanometer processor running at 3.2 gigahertz. Underneath, uh, it has 800, I mean, 8 gigabytes of memory, uh, 64 gig to 1 terabyte solid state drive, a bunch of display ports, 4 e SATA ports, 4 USB ports, 4 USB 2 ports, 4, well, 1 gigabyte uh, gigabit Ethernet. Four Ethernet ports. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, three audio ports and craziness. So, how do they fit all that stuff in there? No, so I don't think the Steam one would need all of that. I, th- I think they could get away with, you know, two of each at, at most. Yes. Um, 
And I mean, I guess I hope that uh, they're planning on doing like actual wireless controllers. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, um, definitely. There's no way they could not. Yeah. Um, and I don't think that they'd end up using a 32 nanometer chip if they could get away with it. Right. It has, it has to be something, you know, like compatible with Linux and that's not ARM. So obviously it's not ARM. Um, I, I like it how it's um, 64-bit x86 based. Like I thought that everything in, is in general. Okay. Yeah. But I mean like isn't x64 supposed to be different than x86 or it's not really, is it? I don't know. Yeah, it, it's it's different but it's not. How's that? Is that All good? Right. You All like right. that? Sure. Good. I can I can live with that. Good. Um I'm really looking forward to it. I Oh, look, the <laughs> website really is down. Look. Internal server Oh error. my god. The website really is down. I wasn't making it out. That's amazing. Haha. <laughs> anyway. The Oculus Rift. <laughs> Stop mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> The Oculus Rift. This is one of the biggest things that has come out of 2012. You know, and like, it, uh, everybody has their eyes on this, literally. <laughs> Some people have their eyes in it. Yeah, and apparently everybody at CES that like tested it was like, you know, it sounds like crap on paper, but man, is it cool. I, apparently. I haven't thought of it as crap on paper. I haven't read about it on paper. Well, I read I, about it on the web. Uh, I, well, same thing. Uh, Not really. Ink display. I'm not going to browse the web on an EE display. That well, sounds terrible. Well, yeah, because, you know, your internet wouldn't be the bandwidth cap there. No. <laughs> um, oh, man. So each eye sees 600 by 800, 640 by 800 pixels, but then since you have two eyes, it actually comes out to being a 1280 by 800 display. Hmm, that sounds like having one of these pressed up to my eyes. Well, that would suck. Um, you know, it's not very high density. I, I mean, over time, obviously, they'll improve those displays. Yes, but uh, obviously, they have to have it that low so that they can actually have latency low enough. Right, exactly. Because that that kind of matters. It really does. Yeah. Well, I mean, so did when Ow. when when do we know? What do we know now about this that we didn't know before? So I'm pretty sure this. You just, were the one that put it on the show notes. Well, I know, but I didn't read it because it was about a gaming thing, and I don't like games. More importantly, this is, I think, the first time that people actually get to try it in person. Like uh, people, right? People uh, who aren't PC gamer editors, right? Yeah. So now, um, The Verge, for instance, can you know tinker if they want. Um, I don't know. I'm not impressed with it specifically, but it's cool. I, I mean, I'm impressed with it as a piece of hardware. Like I, I uh, can't decide whether I would like that better than my 27 inch 3d monitor or uh yeah i think it would i think over time maybe but i think it'll end up being used for different things too yeah it sounds like it sounds like it's the kind of thing that because i know that they, they made a big deal about oh yeah like we only have uh two games that are supported on it right now like well can't you just take the games and display them on it i guess uh, not uh, well even if you could it wouldn't wouldn't really do anything because you'd have to you know have a controller anyway well, that's not hard to get. Well, I know, but I mean, it's kind of pointless then. I mean, I could do it mouse and keyboard, except that I'd have to remember where my fingers are all the time on the keyboard. Hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm skeptical. Yeah. I will be for a few years on that. Um. Why did you put a link it, to it has a Mad some, Cat's It mouse? has something to do with gaming I thought you'd enjoy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Mad Cats yeah. has got the most ridiculous looking things ever. I know. Don't like they? how did, does, that doesn't even look comfortable. No. Look, I'm, it's a. I'm sure it is, but it looks like it's. I don't want my mouse to look like a sports car. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know about you. I don't. Well, mine isn't. It's just a mouse. Yours looks like a. Somebody took some like rocks and stuck them onto it. <laughs> yeah, you're actually right. It does look like that. And I wish I could use these buttons for something, but I can't. That's too bad. Anything more than five buttons is just kind of excessive, well, let's count. in my opinion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Oh, well, okay. Eleven, twelve. Yeah. Twelve buttons on a stupid mouse. Yep, that's pretty... Yeah. Yeah. No. So I never end up charging it, so it always yells at me. You really should. Um. Yeah. Actually, you know what else Mad Cats uh, came mm -hmm. out? No, wait, no. Not no. Mad Cats. Sorry. No, that was Roll Cats. I actually get those two mixed up a lot, and I never realized that until now. Hmm. You gotta get that worked out. I just did. It's all fixed. Good. We we have the fix, the bug fix, the patch notes, they're there. Wow. So that was uh, the last week, pretty much, of CES, all in an hour and a half or something. That's pretty good. Yeah. I I like that. that was... I mean, in in general, I mean, 4K all over the place, yep. new processors all over the place. 
Uh, Actually, yeah, all kinds of new processors. I mean, I mean Xenos 5. I mean, we didn't really talk about that, but it, that came out. Um, same deal. Cool. Really fancy, faster, unbelievable by now. Wow, revolutionary. Yeah, but without the revolutionary credit. Oh, well. <laughs> um, new processors in 4K, that's all I can think about to sum this year up. Yeah. yeah. I think it's reasonable. And, well, changing form factors. Those but are, not really. Yeah, I don't think so. Where? Who? Uh, I'm thinking of the Shield and uh, the Steam boxes. I don't. Well, it was the Steam box at CES. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, we're talking about the piston. Well, well, but it's not called the Steam box. No. Okay. No. None of them are actually called the Steam box. Well, but that's kind really, of what the classification. I know, is. but it's not Valve actually doing it. Then doesn't count. Well, it is. They're a partner of them. Still doesn't come. Okay, whatever. Okay, maybe. Okay, so three things then. So you got 4K, you got new processors, and you've got new form factors, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're figuring it out. Kind of. It's not as new form factors as in oh Bl- tablets, blend, oh, ultra blending books. blending things yeah. together. Yeah. Okay. I I can live with that. Well, I guess if you can count the uh, Oculus Rift as a new form factor too. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. I mean that that definitely. Now is imagine good. using your Oculus Rift with your new Steam Box. Are you stupid? No, that would be so pointless. But just imagine. I okay. So, do you know if the Oculus Rift like has its own like console, or does it just display whatever? I think you start up the game and it just does it in the Oculus Rift. Okay, but where does it do all the the computing and stuff? On whatever system you're using. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. That's pointless. Don't buy that. What? Well, it's a display. It, I know, and it needs to be way more than that. No. Yeah, you need one Xenios eight. Per eye. Right. Yeah. Sure. Then your 3D will be amazing. Can we, can we put one of those per eye and it'll be 3D? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. I love cassette players in my eye. I know, me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to uh, next year, this year? Anything else? Well, lots of games, but we, you know, talk well, about that Well, I know, but I mean, I mean tech stuff. Oh, Gadget tech? stuff. Uh... I don't really know what's coming up, so I mean, yeah. other than I mean, it's not like 4K is going to matter to me personally no, for a while. No, not for another year or two. Um, I think it's really. It makes me kind of mad that there are TVs you, that are coming out that are 4K, but they haven't come out with any monitors that are 4K I, because we're the ones that like. I think you might be able to really get a 4K care. monitor in a two couple of years at a reasonable, you know, like thousand dollar price. Good, I'll be an early adopter. Yeah, I think I think it's possible in one or two years. I'm going to be broke in one or two years. You know, I, I because well, I'll buy a monitor. Well, I think everybody will be broke in one or two years, but right for various reasons. So yeah, yeah, this is good. Should do this more every year. <laughs> I'll see you at E3. Really? Yeah. Wait, isn't there more shows than just E3 and CES every year? What? No, no, uh, they don't matter. Yeah, I guess not. Well, I suppose there is the uh, v- VGAs. No, no, no okay. that does not matter. The the Game Developers Awards? No, no, no. I don't mean shows. I mean like trade show conference things. Oh, uh, independent Games Awards. I mean you've got you've got or, the trade. No, wait, uh, not... You've got TGS, Shoot. the trade show. Um, Mobile World Congress, kind of. Google uh, IO. Google IO. That's yeah. what it's called. WWDC and what's Microsoft? Do they even call it anything? Anymore? Build. But is it still called Build? I don't know. Okay, I don't either. I remember watching like it. was it. called Build for the last two years, but kind of. Because they were building one year, One year it was called WinHack. What? Or something stupid. Oh my gosh. You know too much. I was not there. So I'm Ian Buck, and oh. you can find me on the internet oh, right. on I Google Plus just... and on my blog, which is ianrbuck.blogspot.com. Make sure you keep that R in there. Yes. The other Ian Buck doesn't post anything. And he's Turns boring. out. It's too bad. Yeah, you should post things. It's good. Oh, and you know who I am? Well, I th- think your name's Rain, or... No, 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 my name is Ryan Rampersad, and of course you can find me just about anywhere. It rains, but especially in Twitter, in the rain, outside right now, at Ryan Amar, but also on my blog where I type all sorts of stuff all the time, blog.ryanrampersad.com. Ryan Rupersad? Mm-hmm. Rupert. 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 Rup. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah, have a good one.